Hey loves, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a really simple, super easy and quick makeup look for those two words we have longed to hear for the last God knows how many months, school run. I feel like I've not done the school run for about 500 years and it's fast approaching. I know for me, over the whole lockdown period, I've been wearing a lot less makeup. I don't wear makeup every single day, but getting back into the school run, I do feel like I feel a little bit better when I have a few products on my face. I do feel a little bit more like I've got my act together when I feel that I look a little bit more pulled together, if that makes sense. I think it, it really is all about confidence and whatever makes you happy. So I'm gonna share with you just a few products and a very, very quick, speedy, simple routine. A couple of things that you can just bung on your face and get out the door when time is short. And getting back into the swing of the school runs, I know that mornings are gonna be incredibly tight for time and like frantic. Then I'm gonna show you how you can take that very simple, very pared down, basic makeup look and step it up a notch. Perhaps you've got a mum brunch, maybe a work meeting, a work lunch, after work drinks if you're lucky. So I'm gonna show you a couple of quick tips of how you can take that very basic makeup face and elevate it a little bit. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. So let's crack on and start with school run face. Obviously I've got a coffee in hand because school run mornings are gonna be all about multitasking. I'm gonna start off with a primer, but a primer water, which is a super quick way to kind of refresh your skin and add a little bit of priming action at the same time. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray from Smashbox. So all I'm gonna do is refresh my face and spray a little bit of that on. And it's gonna act as a primer as well and add a little bit of hydration because especially as the winter months come around and roll around, we wanna pack in as much moisture as we can. So I'm just gonna let that kind of sit on my skin for a second while I grab my next product. I am gonna put on a foundation, but I'm gonna go for a CC cream, which is a color correcting cream. So I'm gonna give myself a bit of coverage, a bit of brightening, a bit of evening out. I've showed this like a million times. This is the CC cream. Your Skin But Better from It Cosmetics. I'm gonna just take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. You can apply it with your fingers and just literally rub it all over your face super quick. But I am gonna take my beauty blender and just really quickly dot this all over. Like you don't even really need to look in a mirror. So you can be banging this on your face while screaming. Stop fighting and put your shoes on. Put your shoes on. Right, that literally took like 30 seconds. If you put it on your hand, don't forget to wipe it off. If you're anything like me, you'll forget and get it all over your clothes. And we haven't got time for that in the morning, especially. Now I'm gonna use a concealer, but I'm gonna use a little sneaky tip to kind of help with really tired, oh my God, I've had to set the alarm and actually get out of bed early eyes. I'm gonna take some of my eye cream, which is, um, what is this one anyway? Dr. Brandt DNA Triple Peptide Eye Cream. A little bit on the back of my hand. Then I'm gonna take a concealer, any concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like it's just a little bit too thick and dry for me. And if you have a concealer that you, you feel is that way, then just mix a little bit of eye cream in with it dot it underneath your eyes and you can blend with your finger or again just take your damp beauty sponge and just blend it out literally 10 seconds concealer makes the world of difference underneath your eyes just going to brighten everything up and make you look much more awake but mixing it with your eye cream even if you've already done your skincare routine this is a great tip especially again for winter months because we're just really packing in that hydration you know, sometimes those little fine lines underneath our eyes can be caused by dehydration. Um, and if you have got a really thick, heavy concealer like the Tarte one, sometimes that's too much, especially when the rest of your makeup is pretty light and simple. It looks a bit odd if you've gone in with like a hard girl full coverage. So that little dot of eye cream just helps everything kind of melt in together. Again, don't forget the back of your hand. I am going to set that really quickly just with my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. If I don't set my concealer, it will crease. So I'm just going to quickly, literally like two seconds, like set my under eye concealer. Done. Then because my face is looking quite flat and one dimensional, I'm going to add a little bit of colour to my cheeks. This is the Origins Pinch Your Cheek. It's like a cream gel blush. This is the shade Coral Berry. It comes out and looks absolutely 
terrifying like super dark but if you take a little bit on you know your ring finger or something and you can literally again not even look just feel the contours of your face your cheekbone and i feel like blush is super super youthful it just adds a really healthy look to the skin again wipe it off the cc cream is kind of a dewy finish now that i've got my blush on if you prefer a more matte finish just take your setting powder again and just whack it on top just to kind of mattify everything down if you prefer that kind of look if you don't then you're fine i'm gonna take a bronzer and a fluffy brush what is this one i never remember the name the film style bronze and glow from charlotte tilbury and i'm literally not even really looking again just taking a small dusting of this. I'm not gonna really contour. I just wanna add a little bit of color and warmth. Okay, done, so, so quick. If you've got the extra three seconds, take your powder or your bronzer and you can literally take three seconds per eye if you want and dust a little bit on. Eyebrows, we're gonna go in with a clear eyebrow gel. Sometimes eyebrows take a time, you know, take a little bit of work to fill in, but sometimes we need a little bit of added help and some taming. So I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and I'm just gonna really quickly brush this through my brows and kind of get them into position. If you have got really fair brows, you might want to spend just a minute going over them with a pencil, but I've been tinting my brows, so I find that I can get away with just a little waft of, what is it? Brow gel. Then I'm gonna go in with a nice mascara. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline. This was recommended by one of my fellow lovely YouTube friends, Amanda Rose, who loves it. So I've gone out and bought it. I'm just gonna apply a very quick coat of this to both of my eyelashes. Both of my eyelashes, that's what I feel like. I've got like two eyelashes, but to my eyes. Oh, mascara is on. And obviously I've got some on my nose. Makeup wipe, sponge, done. Really, really like this mascara. Um, super easy to apply it's not clumpy that's a really really pretty mascara okay we're almost done we're going to finish off with lip before that we're going to down the coffee and for lips i'm going to use this one that i got from tk maxx if you haven't seen my makeup kind of tk maxx haul i'll link it in the description this is the milk makeup lip vinyl in the shade chillin it's just a nude lip you can't go wrong with a nude lip classic nude lip So there you go, like literally a handful of products, a few minutes, we've evened everything out, covered up dark circles, add a little bit of colour to our face and our cheeks, finished off with a nude lip. Super simple, right? So now I'm going to show you what you can do to take this very simple basic makeup look and elevate it with just a handful of products. Perhaps, like I said, you've got a work meeting, a brunch, a lunch, or maybe you're going out, whatever, but you don't have time to restart and do a full face. Here's what you can do. This is the Tartus Pro Glow Palette. It's got like contour creams and powders and highlights. I'm just going to take the powder Sculpt here and a small brush. This is just like a real technique contour brush and I am just going to kind of contour up my face a little bit more to give it a little bit more definition so I'm going to start with my cheeks so kind of underneath my cheekbones I'm going to take some around my hairline and what I find is if you've already got a full face of makeup on or you've got some kind of makeup on and it's been set the best thing if you're wanting to kind of add a bit more kind of bronze or contour is to use a powder over a cream it's just going to blend so much easier and then along the jaw and a little bit down the neck and if you want you can contour a little bit of your nose so i've just dipped my brush into the powder 
pinched it down and then I'm just kind of hitting either side of the bridge of my nose. Just a very basic contour. It's just adding a little bit of colour, really. So it's already looking a little bit more glowy and there's a little bit more shape. I'm going to take the exact same contour powder on an eyeshadow brush and just kind of dust this all over my eyelids, outer corner, crease, slightly above the crease, just to add a little bit of colour to my eyelids. Then I'm going to use one of the highlight powders in this palette. So just, just want a little bit more glam. I'm just going to hit the high points of my cheekbones. Tiny little bit on the bridge of my nose. You can just pop some in your inner corner as well. Maybe a little bit on your brow bone. Then you can always pop on another coat or two of mascara if you want. You might not need to, but if it's quite a few hours since you first applied your makeup, you might want to kind of just give them a little bit of a pick me up and add another little coat. I am going to add a little extra to my eyebrows because I already put the clear brow gel on. I need to go in with another similar product, but this is the brow gel, but a colour version. Just I've just got like a tiny little sample. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on very carefully because I've already got that other brow gel on over the top just to kind of deepen them up a little bit because we're going to go for a more kind of evening look. And then to finish off, the most easiest, quickest and the most classic way to kind of turn a very simple makeup look into an evening more glam look is to go for a bold statement lip. You can't go wrong with a classic red. And when you're wearing a bold statement lip, you know, the kind of very simple eyes and the very simple makeup balances out and works really, really well. I've not tried this yet. This is the Silky Cream Lipstick from Laura Mercier in a beautiful red colour. So I'm going to take this off, pop that on. And there you go, there's the finished look. So you only need a couple of minutes to do your school run makeup. And then you only need an extra few more products and a couple of minutes to turn that very simple makeup into something much more glam and a look that makes you look like you've put in so much more effort than you actually have. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to all you mums and dads out there, but especially to the mums getting ready for the school run. Good luck. <laughs> sending you all the speedy shoe putting on, breakfast eating, teeth brushing, hair combing vibes. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Wishing you all the best of luck. I hope your kids have a really great start back at school. Hope everyone stays happy and healthy. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will speak to you really soon. Take care.